everyone, this is Saki. So I wasn't going to do this video, but I was asked multiple times recently about my tattoos to explain what they are. Someone asked me where I got them. So I figured I would go ahead and just do a general tattoo video. Um, I've only got three tattoos and as the saying goes, if you can count how many tattoos you have, you don't have enough. So I'll show you the three that I do have, talk about my experience, where I got them, etc. So let's just jump right into that. So the first tattoo I got was a hummingbird and that's it right there. And I drew that one myself off of a template, um, kind of got ideas from a couple different places and the wings are a little bit more bat-like instead of a traditional hummingbird tattoo that you would see like pretty with lots of colors and stuff. And I did not want anything that was traditional. So I got this tattoo when my best friend asked, hey, do you want to go ahead and get a tattoo with me? Scheduling something, you know, now like a month from now or whatever. And that was four years ago, so I've had that tattoo, I've had this tattoo about four years now. For a long time before I thought about getting tattoos, I wasn't settled on one idea. And I know a lot of people are like, well, I love tattoos, but I don't know what I want to get. Once you know, you will know. So when she said this to me, I immediately knew what I wanted because just a couple months prior, my aunt passed away. She was mentally handicapped, so I grew up with her like she was my little sister, the sweetest, gentlest soul I will ever meet in my life. And she means so much to me. It's hard for me to really talk about it, but she would always tell me about the hummingbirds that she would see outside. And I always just connected hummingbirds with her, so I have a really, really special place in my heart also because I like things that are a little, you know, more darker. I didn't want the, like I said, the pretty colorful hummingbirds. So I drew up a dark hummingbird. I wanted the wings to be a little bit bat-like and a little bit blurry now, but the hummingbird is crying. That you can see like there's a tear. I got this tattoo, a female artist, I can't remember her name, but I will look it up um, and I'll put it here for you on the screen. And I got it at Studio Tattoo, which is off of Boulder Highway here in Vegas. The Tattoo with Two Arms was great. I had a great time there. There were four of us together and only one of us had gotten tattooed prior. So I was the first one up that hadn't gotten the tattoo yet. Um, so my tattoo was really cool and just told me a bunch of really groovy stories. I love her. She was really freaking awesome. So what does the tattoo feel like? Like everyone always asks, does the tattoo hurt? My pain tolerance is very high. The best thing that I can describe how a tattoo feels and this is how my friend explained it to me was if you've ever been scratched by a cat or like your friend scratches you by accident with their nails and it kind of like stings, that's what it feels like. And it is true, it's more of an annoying thing than for me, painful. This didn't hurt me at all. It just, as time went on, it took about 40 minutes to do. It just, it got a little bit annoying, like, okay, are you done yet? You know, it's just like, it's like a continual scratching one area, it gets more annoying and painful. So, that's the best I can do to explain to you how a tattoo feels if you don't have any yet and you're wondering about it. There are places on your body though that are more sensitive where the pain level is going to be more, for example, right here on the collarbones, your feet, anywhere around your head, sensitive areas like on the inside of your arm, things like that. So the second tattoo I got was by a different artist who I highly do not recommend. I did my research a lot prior before getting this one and this is my Roni Kenshin and Kaoru tattoo. Ah, I'm not, okay. So this is Kenshin and Kaoru. They do not at all look like how I want them. So I need to get them fixed. Like I said, I did my research a lot. I looked at multiple artists before I went and got this tattoo. I I don't know why I didn't go back to this one. I, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, my friend went to this uh, tattoo place as well. And it is Painless Wayne's Tattoo. I highly, highly, highly do not recommend going there if you're gonna be getting tattooed by the actual owner who supposedly has 40 years experience, etc. Like I said, I had a bad experience with them. 
Now, Luis got a heartbeat tattoo on his arm here. Um, you can see it in some of the other videos. He got tattooed by another artist, I don't remember his name. It turned out very well, brilliant and everything. This, it just, I cried and I had to go get ice cream afterwards because I was so upset that this did not turn out how I wanted to do. Um, just the line work is shitty, the coloring is shitty, he added extra things in there, like the guy had no idea what the fuck he was doing and it pisses me off still to this day. So this is going to be um, touched up, fixed up, I don't know exactly how it's going to be fixed because just like the nose on Kinshin, he's not supposed to have a nose. If you, like, you look at the picture, it just, what the fuck was this guy doing just adding lines where there's not supposed to be any lines there. It pissed me the fuck off so much. And like the coloring is just shitty and it's wrong. And I love Kinshin, he means so, 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 so much to me. So I'm furious and I really hope that it can get fixed. My experience when I went to Famous Lane was not good. When we got there, there was no one there whatsoever. It was kind of later on in the afternoon as well. There was him, there was um, the other tattoo artist, there was a couple guys there. And I had already sent them the pictures ahead of time so that they knew, they said, yeah, we can do this, here's the price, blah, blah, blah. And it took two fucking hours of us sitting there and there's no one else here for them to get ready to tattoo Luis and I. And so I got the owner to do mine, the other guy did Luis's tattoo and we gave them the money up front. Um, then they had to go back and they had to copy it and redraw it and blah, blah, blah. And the owner wasn't doing shit. He was just not doing anything. The other guy had to do everything. Usually you can bring your picture ahead of time and it only takes a few minutes to either transport it or they're supposed to already have it ready and to go. So I highly recommend if you go into that tattoo shop and they make you wait a really long time and if they don't have things already ready, um, especially if you send it ahead of time, just walk out. I highly just, I, will, I wish I walked out myself. That is my biggest advice to you is if you go in there and you have any kind of hint of, is this place really, uh, get out. Get out, because this is your skin, and it's gonna be hard for you to either get a cover up, or to get fixed, and laser removal for me is just out of question, I don't ever wanna do that. So, unfortunately, I, like I said, don't recommend painless lanes. Um, when I've mentioned about this tattoo to like other artists and other people who have gotten tattoos from all around Vegas, they say, oh, him. Yeah, there's a lot of horror stories apparently associated with him and his place. So, screw that. Nah. Alright, sorry about my little rant about that, but everyone out there who has not had a lot of experience with tattoos or anything really needs to know that my best advice is walk out if you're not sure about anything. Okay, so next is my most recent one. I got this. I got Kenshin last summer like in July, and this one I got a few months ago. I really don't remember. Anyways, this is from um, Vampire Knight, and this is what Zero has tattooed on his neck. So Friday's 13th was coming up. Um, a lot of tattoo artists will kind of do deals on that. They'll say it's a $13 tattoo with $7 lucky tip, $20 for a tattoo. They usually will give you like size requirements, or they make you choose from a uh, sheet of John stuff up that they already have prepared. But anyway, I went to this other tattoo artist. He was doing the Friday 13th special this past Friday 13th. And so Luis and I decided to go ahead and get tattoos together. He wanted to get a rose for a long time on his wrist and he always loved Vampire Night. So he was kind of contemplating for a while about getting um, that symbol with the rose. So I thought, huh, well, I could get zeros, and Luis and I wanted to get a couple tattoos for a while so we can put them, you know, together. So he's got his on his opposite wrist. I drew this on my wrist and I kind of settled on this just a couple days before I got it. I was afraid that people that didn't know what it was would think it's like a tribal tattoo. So I'm like, I don't want people to think it's a stupid tribal tattoo or something. No offense to those out there who have tribal tattoos. It's just is not my thing and it's kind of something that a lot of people will poke fun at, like, oh you got a cliche 90s tribal tattoo, blah blah blah. Anyways, 
but my friends were like, oh, that's really cool. No, I don't think it looks tribal. And you know, I, I sharpie it on myself and I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. I'll finally get one where I have to see it all the time. And that's another thing is I got the hummingbird back here, which I would get it over more now, but I was worried being at my first one about getting it somewhere that was going to be seen. But now I don't care about who sees them or about getting work or anything that has to do with my tattoos because this is me, this is what makes me happy, and I don't want to hide who I am just because someone else disagrees with it. So, yeah. So I was worried that this one was going to hurt. This did not hurt at all. At all. Um, we had to wait a long time to get our tattoo because it was so busy. Like that place was freaking packed. Like it was packed unbelievably. So we were there for a long time and tattoo artists was like, hey, you've been waiting that a long time and we really appreciate that. It was getting close to like 11 o'clock when we got our tattoo. It was like 11 in the evening and we got there like around 4 or 5 or something like that. Like I said, we were there for quite a while. Um, it was really fun. Um, the guy and his girl were really, really sweet. Did not hurt me at, like in the slightest. So maybe if it was more further up, it would have been more sensitive. But this right here, it healed well and everything. It didn't bother me at all. That's another thing about this one is this did not heal well fucking at all. Like it, it has bumps and everything. This one, you don't hardly feel anything. This one back here, you don't feel anything. This one though, it hurt really bad on the very edge when it reached the side right here when he was doing her hair. And this is just, it's not well done. You can feel this tattooing. When you can feel tattoos, that's just, that's bad. It's not something that you want. In the future, I want to get wings. Um, I mentioned that in another one of my videos. Um, so kind of debating about that, whether I want to do it or not. That's why I wish my hummingbird was over a little bit more. Um, I do want to, after I get this fixed, I want to turn this into an upper sleeve. Um, I'm going to put other chibis on here. I know I want L, I want Sora, and I want um, Dark from D and Angel. So I want those three on here for sure. For a long time, I'm like contemplating about getting Chi. Um, I want to get um, Imaginary, possibly right here um, from the Evanescence song. I'm also kind of deciding about getting um, lyrics. A savior will always be there um, from Black Belt Brides. So those are just a couple ideas that I have going around, but for sure I do want to have this into an upper sleeve. So one of the biggest questions that I asked everyone that I saw that had a tattoo um, before I got my first one was about the healing process. What did you put on your tattoo after you got it? The number one answer that I got, and I, like I said, I asked everyone that I saw with a tattoo um, when I worked at the grocery store way back when, and most of them said Aquaphor, which is a cream um, kind of thing. It's like thick. Um, I don't know if it's like a petroleum jelly or what it is exactly, but people said definitely, definitely, definitely do not put Neosporin on the tattoo whatsoever. You don't want it to scab, which this one did. Um, I still used Aquaphor, but like I said, this one was just done really bad. So you don't want your tattoo to scab over. Aquaphor worked wonders. My other tattoos, they both healed up brilliantly. For this one though, I did use the H2O tattoo cream. I would go back and use Aquaphor though again for the rest of them, or the H2O tattoo. They both worked really, really well. Something I would like to make note of real quick too is that Luis has three tattoos as well. He's diabetic, I've mentioned that before. And if you guys are diabetic and you are worried about getting tattoos, Luis has one on his neck that healed up well. The other one that he's gotten most recently kind of scabbed a little bit. So if you do get a tattoo and you are diabetic, yes, you can get tattoos. There's nothing wrong with that. There are plenty of diabetic people out there that do get tattoos. You just have to be extremely careful about the healing process. Um, not to scratch yourself because it will get a little bit itchy. Um, you want to keep it moisturized constantly. I mean, you definitely don't want it to dry out whatsoever. If you do, that will be a big mistake and that will lead to the scabbing. 
but so long as you keep an eye on it and you keep it um, you know, washed well, take a shower, um, and you keep it moisturized, Aquaphor, like I said, I really recommend. Do not put any Aquaphor on it, um, otherwise you should be good to go. Make sure and do your research. Unfortunately though, like I said, I did research on this artist. His other works seemed to be pretty good. My friend got a tattoo from him and it turned out pretty good. I don't know what the fuck happened when he tattooed me. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know if he was high or if he was drunk, but he seemed a little off and I was just too afraid to say, you know, let's, let's walk out. It's ridiculous, which I really wish I did now. So that should be it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry it's a little bit more rambly of a video. If you have any other questions, comment below. I will be more than happy to answer them for you. Or you can use the power of Google or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, thank you for watching and may the force be with you. Please subscribe because that's so awesome.